All right, man, we have power, dude. We have the future in our hands. I would prefer to just have like a thousand solar panels going at any given time, but at least the solar panels will charge us during the day and these guys will charge us at night. What is going on, everybody? Riot here. Welcome to another episode of our Subnautica survival series. Here I am right by the base where I left off last time, just kind of watching our fish grow up right now. Our stalkers are getting so old and big. It's actually getting kind of bad in there. I wonder if once they get to their appropriate size, they'll just start eating all these peepers in there. Because well, Am I going to have to keep food in there? There's so many responsibilities I've yet to learn. Just so much we have to do. But on the upside, they've grown so much. It's like really fun to watch their change into adulthood. So already, I know I mention this every episode, but already there's so many updates from the last time I've... That little son of a bitch I let loose last time still around here as well. I hear him growling every couple minutes. Although I don't see him. I think, um, I don't really know what's going on there. I think he's actually hanging out like this is his home now, this area, because he's just been sw Nope, as I say that, this, the, the dude has disappeared. Are we, like, supposed to release them back into their environment or something? Can we at least tag them with little beepers or name tags so we know which ones they are? I'd like to see the creature later on, like, way later in the series. Like, oh my god, look who it is. It's that dude I forgot to name. Look how much things are changing, though, guys. Look how much prettier these little emblems are. Look, the, va the vase plants, pink flower, even acid mushrooms look much cooler now. Everything's, everything's evolving around us. I can't imagine how pretty things are back at the base. So, since these guys are doing their own thing, I still have no idea what the hell to do with this egg right here. I think my next goal should for sure to build or be to build a bioreactor. Like, we need to, we need to step our game up. Ooh, look, even creep vine has a different symbol now. Everything's evolving around us. Where are you? Oh, there's my rotten hanging fruits. It's real nice. Glad I saved those for a later snack. Really, really smart move on my part. These are still not accessible, unfortunately, but... I'm just gonna check that every episode, man. Yeah, look, look at the creep. Oh, everything's just so sexy. They've hired a better graphic designer. One of them's been putting in work. Damn, look at that. Even blood oil. Everything's, everything's beautiful. It's nice how it changes every like couple weeks or month, you know? I never get tired of looking at it because it never stays the same. Well, that was a mouthful right there. Like whenever I start a Subnautic episode, I just talk for like, like well, there's just so much catching up to do. So much great. So just titanium lubricants. I'm gonna stock up on resources for a little bit right now because I just know I'm gonna wanna get slinky with things and, and well, we're gonna require resources to do things slinky with. I mean, for God's sakes, I still have storage modules on Ass Reaper. Everything's just so topsy-turvy right now. So, so that's a thing. So magical just keeping things on us like this. I can't wait to actually go complete um, elbow deep and just have one specifically for this. I wish you could also increase your own inventory size, like have a, you know, there's suits for different things, reinforced dive suit, um, just, just general tasks that you need assistance with. If one of them could just be a big hefty ass suit that could hold a bunch of stuff, that'd be perfect. Would save me so much time. There he is! See? He stays in the neighborhood. Like, we, we have him now. We need to make a giant, <gasps> we need to close off all exits in our base except, oh damn it, except the sea moth exit. How's that gonna work out? Because if we could make our own little stalker pool that'd be perfect and yeah as long as i keep peepers on standby we shouldn't have any revolts going on that's like the number one thing we have to avoid acid shrooms oh wait that, that even if that was that acid shrooms i meant acid mushrooms but just a thing a thing say labeled acid mushrooms is just asking to get police like what if a, what if a cop pulls us over he sees the whole thing just labeled acid and mushrooms like there's there's no way that's not gonna backfire, so we're gonna change the acid, acid mush. That's, that's better. I'd rather it be gibberish than, um, like, I don't know, evidence. <laughs> I am so stupid. I was like, I'm too lazy to go outside and dispose of anything right now, even though it's like five feet away from me. So I was like, eh, I'll just eat one of the fruits. What's the worst thing that could happen? Instead, I didn't even notice the negative 20, negative 22. I just lost, I just lost everything right there because of my laziness. That's terrible. Like, that's the... Laziness will literally be the death of me, it looks like. That's that's very unfortunate. Can't believe can't believe that just happened. Worst survivalist technique ever. I don't want to throw it away, I'll just eat it. What's the worst that could happen? Oh I'm dying. If you guys are wondering um why my newfound interest for acid mushrooms, like specifically, it's because well now that the floodlights, like the floodlight before was a question mark as well, like how the uh, how the rest of the plant things were. 
So I'm thinking the floodlights are complete now, because my floodlights have been on forever, and they've been on, the battery's been on 0% forever, they just keep running, because I assumed they weren't complete. It looks like they're complete now, so everything might be pitch black at home, which means we need to start stockpiling some acid mushrooms, because we are gonna need batteries. Oh, I'm torn. I could still survive. I could gather all the resources I need right now and still survive after. I'll just, I'll gather some air sac when I see them. It'll happen. I saw copper. Where's that guy? I need this copper. I need batteries, man. Batteries are life all of a sudden. So now everything's gonna be running on freaking batteries and it's gonna suck ass. <laughs> Where the hell are all the fish, dude? Getting rickrolled right now. There's, what, what, I haven't seen like a, I've seen like a two Gary fish. <laughs> what the? There's somebody in all the fish. Here's a here's a dead peeper, you poor little bastard. It's like someone just swooped right through here and ate all the fish. Like I'm actually gonna die right now because because I can't find any air sacs. <laughs> what the hell? <gasps> brutal, brutal living. Brutal. Whoa. Gotta get used to that little lag. I always forget. To that sexy ass creep vine emblem. Like, I'm not gonna use that. I'm just gonna fill up one percent at a time. Don't tempt me with survival. Oh, I ate the whole plant. Crap. Yo, straight up, someone is hiding all the fish from me right now. Like, this is actually madness what I'm seeing right here. Oh my god, a Gary fish. Thank oh, yes! An air sac! Oh god. I can't wait to go back to base and drink so much water instead of these, like, ringed out fish ass. I mean, clearly, clearly I've been in this biome for too long, because the whole place is just- No, fish respawn. That's just nonsense. I'm just talking nonsense right now. I'm trying to make excuses for what I'm seeing. What? Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. This is when I die. This is when I die right here. It's all because I ate a rotten fruit. Jesus Christ, all the things we've overcome. We dodged a reaper leviathan. We've survived many attacks, but no, it's rotten fruits. That's what gets me. It's my stupidity and laziness. It's the downfall of everything. We can make it. We're about to start taking damage. Warning. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the warning. It wasn't extremely obvious to me that I was dying. Oh, God! Come on, there's our stalker. We're gonna die right in front of our child. <laughs> everything just gets so much more brutal. Come here. Come here. Hey, water. Good Lord. I've never been so thirsty that you actually bleed out and die on the spot. That's craziness right there. Easy. Boom. <laughs> Trying to kill me now, you SOB. Jesus. That was ridiculous right there. Just making a bunch of lube. There's a frat party later. No. <laughs> because um, the bioreactor requires lubricant and I don't know how much I'm going to need, but it's kind of such a pain in the ass resource to gather because... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God. My own pet's trying to kill me right now. You son of a bitch. I saw you swim over me. Nobody loves me in Subnautica. He's just pissed I kidnapped him or something. I don't even know. Stalkers are brutal though. They'll like kill each other. They have no loyalty to anything. So, God, I'm so I just feel ridiculous using Ask Reaper for this right now. We have like specific purposes for all, all sea moths and I'm using one for just... Well, you guys understand. We have no power at base right now, so we can't really fulfill our dreams just yet, but we'll be able to. All right, now let's just gather. Do I even have that much copper on me? I rarely collect copper. It's not like, it's because it was so plentiful at first that I kind of grown resentful of it and now it's just something I need. All right. So I see we bowed ourselves over a little bit in that department. So that's, that's, that's all good, just fine and dandy. Now I know a, a lot of people are requesting, um, uh, well we're due, for, we're due for an adventure episode and we're due for a base episode. So I think just as we've been playing, I've been kind of just mass gathering a lot of resources I pass by. So then in the future, the very near future, we could have an episode where, well, the majority of it at least is just expanding our base. We could make it so much more big and mighty and awesome. It's just almost a waste for us not to do it. And then of course we need to go check out all the other biomes, because if there's been all these updates, then I can only imagine how much everything else has changed all over. Like soon we'll have the warper and everything. God, oh, man, I can't wait. I cannot wait to be introduced to the warper and see what kind of magical shit it goes. Like if it's something that makes war like warps dimensional a dimensional fish. I just I can't even fathom that kind of awesomeness. When I come into it, when I run into it, it'll be it'll be a very special moment. Hopefully we'll have some of our pet stalkers tamed and peaceful by then, because I don't really want to go in there with any enemies. I wanna grab that copper, but it oh he's just he's just gathering copper right there. That's perfect. 
Oh my god, I want to unleash all of them so they can all just gather things and bring them all into one location, but... I'll just be mass attacked and slaughtered right there, so that's not really a good idea. You know what I was gonna gather? I was gonna snoop around a little bit more because... There might be some new, like, there's just, I don't know, there's just, there's definitely some new shit going on in the, in the creep mine area because there, there seems to always be whenever there's an update, but seeing as how I'm gonna starve and dehydrate, I think it's time we go back to base for a bit. Especially since we can get this bioreactor going and then get some new energy forms. How can this thing not fly yet, man? If this, if this sub could fly, life would be perfect. I don't even need to fly, just kind of hover a little bit. Yep, that's why I'm going back to base, because we have fresh fruits and fresh water back at base. It's gonna be the shits. We'll finally be able to keep fish at base too once that place is energy, man. We've been living like cavemen the past few episodes. It's like, I mean, cavemen had some fun, I'll admit it. Beating people over the head with sticks and stuff, but it's, it's no way to form a futuristic civilization. Actually, it's the foundation of a futuristic civilization. I just kind of catch 22 would myself. Oh, look at that dead air sack. Shit. Gross, man. Gross. There would be a lot of a lot of death. Oh, man. Subnautica. I can't wait till it just I'm just thinking of so many more things. Like, imagine if you had this kind of ship in stranded deep, the kind of things you'd see. Because there's, you know, sharks with different kinds of lag, different kinds of sharks, different kinds of... Just... Imagine if there were other mega-sized creatures like the reefbacks that weren't hostile and you could just randomly see one going past us. That would... God, there's just so much potential. Alright, I know I'm about to die and now's no time to get cheeky with it, but I think I'm gonna take the top road instead of driving Ass Reaper through there, because I wanna see how our plant's doing out front. It's changed at all, I mean, because it's only been a little bit. Look at you! Making me food? Whoa, 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 easy. Yes, look at that instant solution! Just fill up right when we get to base. God, this is so much better this way. I love this, and we're almost full, look at that. Damn, we, we can even stay hydrated off this stuff. I'm just wasting food now to stop hydrating the- Damn it, I ate a rotten something! Man, it happens every freaking time. I got too cocky with it. I was eating, I just started shoving my fat face full of vegetables. I was just shoving my face full. See, here's what I'm talking about. See how the battery's on 0% but it's still powered? How are you still powered? How is that a thumb not even gonna question it? Stay powered as long as you need, buddy. As long as you need. All right, so, oh God, these guys too. So, oh, we have to get rid of these dead fish also. We have to still, <laughs> I'll get rid of them. I'll, I'll dispose of their bodies. We're all a little tired of looking at them. They're just a cruel reminder of where I dumped all our pets. I just got it and come on, man. One last fish. Come on, buddy. Come on, go easy. There we go. So where should we leave all these things? <laughs> Where should be our fish trash can around here? God, this base expands so much. This is why I want to do a base expanding video, at least like part of a video, because we literally have so much potential here. Oh, they're just gonna float to the top. Whatever, they'll just be roof bodies. This will be like one of those horror movies where you go into the cave and there's just corpses hanging from the ceiling, but they're fish corpse, so it's, it's not as bad. I see our jungle room is really popping off. Hell yeah, it is. Look at all this fruits. You can eat forever right here. Never have to worry about nothing. And of course, we're hydrated for all of eternity. So, so that's nice. Right now we have elbow deep docked. Elbow deep is gonna be all storage modules, one solar charger, or should we, ah, let's just do all storage. Oh, one solar charger. I always go back on what I say, but it's, it's necessary and that's very pretty looking. Now, I did this in another video on my own, just start just, I did this off camera on my own, but, cause someone was seeing if I could scan the fish tank to get that, but that's like, no bueno. No es bueno, I tried it as well. You just gotta try and scan everything. Someone also pointed out Welcome that Glogins must constantly stay, oh my god, it has zero power. Everything has died in here. What the shit? I left the lights off on all of you, you're all dead? Captain. No, no, no. Why? Why is Gloges dead? What is that? Someone pointed out that Gloges should have to stay Welcome inside. Aboard, Captain. Inside Glodic, and I couldn't agree with you more. But right now it's dead. We'll get it a power cell. We'll get everything going. We've had a few setbacks. We're finally recovering. All right, let's get some titanium at least, at least eight, and then let's get some lube going. God, gross. There's, there's no non-gross way to say lubricant. I swear, it's, it's been used for too many nasty things. It's, it's just permanently associated with gross stuff. Did not need all of it though, that was silly. Ah, just keep it all out, just put 
two back. There we go. Now let's go see where we can place these bioreactors, how the whole thing goes down, the magic behind it. That's a death tube. You don't swim through it. Compost plant matter to energy, 40 power per minute. If I were to put a bioreactor somewhere, where would I... I'd assume on, well not on a base, but how does it, does it just deliver power the way a solar, or the way solar panels do? Oh god, I hate doing things for the first time without knowing what I'm doing. Oh, this, this little area is perfect for it. Good god. Alright, I hope this goes well. I'm only throwing down four titanium in a lube though, so it can't be. I doubt it'll go that bad. Oh, don't tell me it's not even complete yet, you SOB. No way. Fungal sample. Does this thing, it, it just doesn't even have color tints yet. All right, so I just looked it up. The fungal sample is, um, it's those giant mushroom caps in the tree biome, which is conveniently enough where our, I don't have it on me right now, but it's where our signal tells us to go. So I'm gonna dip down there and grab a buttload of fungus. Eesh, terrible, terrible amount measuring tool right there when talking about fungus. And we're just gonna just stockpile up on that shit. It's just sad though, because there's like a finite amount once you slice it, it's gone. I, I don't know if it grows back. I hope it does, but I'm not 100% sure if it does. We might be destroying the environment right now just to power our own base. It's not as clean as solar panels. You know what we need? Why did I just do that? Why did I just put it down? Every time I leave a floor, I remember what I need from that floor. I'm gonna make one specific little, um, one specific little cabinet right here, a wall locker. That's just for like the captain's immediate tools, things I need, because I keep so much crap on me that I don't use, like I don't, I'll, I'll drop the terraformer because I don't, stasis rifles more, and then a high capacity tank there. Now I can hold a lot more stuff. The egg's staying on me, man. I'm taking care of that kid. I don't even care if nothing ever comes out. I got a responsibility. Just gotta find where I put that signal. Man, do I really need to organize these. Like this, just, but there we go, sweet. I need to take everything out, put everything back in. All right, what is it? Landmass detected? Damn it, that's the wrong signal. That's the island. Where's the other one? This is why we have to have things organized right here. This is bullshit. There we go. Boom. And... Voila. Get out of there. Get out of there. Where are you telling us to go now, oh mysterious one? Heat signature? What the shit? Crap, I have betrayed myself with directioning, because the heat signature is not where we're trying to go either. We're trying to go to the large landmass, which is... But it's the underwater one. It's telling us to go to the island. That's the landmass. Of course, it's nighttime right now. It's so much easier to see where you're going when it's when it's dark out. <laughs> Straight balling right now. I'm pretty sure... Ah, I'm just going to say I'm pretty sure I know where I'm going, but we all know that's just a big fat load of bullshit at this point. So we're just going to try and get lucky. Were there always this many stars in Subnautica at night? Am I tripping out? Have I just not enjoyed the nighttime as much, or are there a lot more stars than usual? It looks like there's more atmosphere. Or not atmosphere, galaxy. I don't know though, I've never really looked at the sky romanticizing it in that way before. That moon's so distracting too, you just stare at that son of a bitch. The moon is driving faster than we are, planet, whatever that thing is. It's Either way, it's, it's clearly going much faster. <laughs> It's passing us up so quick, Jesus Christ. I have absolutely no idea what I'm descending into right now. It's so, it's so freaking pitch black. I think it's the darkest. I'm just gonna turn around and look at this up. Passing safe oh my God, and the music's getting terrifying. I'm just, Jesus, Jesus Christ, I can't even stand this right now. Oh shit. I'm pretty sure we're safe in a Cyclops though, right? Reaper Leviathans can't phase a Cyclops, right? <laughs> it's, a, it's still a thing, isn't it? It damn well better be or my ass is grass right now. Oh my god, I just perfectly found the biome. Holy crap. Oh my god, just driving around in the dark. That was, that skills right there. 0% skill, 100% luck, but you can't stop me from banging my own drum. I just, I just stopped myself, I guess. This is exactly what we need. We don't even need to go any farther. These giant penis plants are exactly what we're going for. This is prime stuff right here, man. Prime stuff. This is where it all leads. The creatures don't even swim till they see me. Everyone's a paid actor in this biome, I swear. All right, let's get to cutting. Come here, buddy. Yay, look at all them fungal samples. Woohoo! See, and then you just take out a giant, a giant branch like that for what? for resources 
At what point did we become animals ourselves? My inventory is full. No, it's not. This is just the biggest. Should I just slice it up into like a million pieces first? No, that's just the fungal sample. That's the biggest thing I've ever put in my inventory that's that's not taking up my whole inventory. <gasps> They're tiny, tiny little buggers. Come here, buddy. Just mass gather he is, because I don't want to come back. This is where my first, in my old school survival series, like the first Subnautica survival series I ever made like a year ago, this is where one of my bases was. This, this tree biome, because it's such an amazing place to have, well, a base. There's no reason to, uh, to not rhyme when you're talking about magic. I've almost stripped this entire tree clean. What is life? What is life? I can't even get this thing. This mushroom is hanging on, man. Where'd it go? Holy crap, it's got magical powers. This one gets to stay. Warning. Okay, a lot of these get to stay. Oh, look how circular the world looks from down here. It's beautiful. All right, now we play the waiting game. As soon as we recharge a bit, get back to cut. You know what we should just be doing? Come on. Weasel a lot out of there. Okay, it doesn't happen nearly as easy as it used to. Well, half of these just don't come off. What is this malarkey? I think they've, I think they've cut us off. Like, they, they, we think you've had enough, sir. Get on out of here. Now I'll tell you when I've had enough, damn it. That's exactly what's going on right here. Whoa, that's one creepy ass giant wall right there. Oh my God. Why does that terrify me so much? This is malarkey. What the hell? What the hell? Do they have to be like prime tree mushrooms? Like ready to harvest? Perfectly ripe? I'm getting rickrolled now. Like the last 20 I've sliced haven't given me anything. But before they all were. Like I used to worry about destroying too much of these plants. Because it would just destroy the environment. But Warning. what is that poop you let off? Is that it? Ramming speed. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Wait, we flips, not the mushroom. What is life? You're going down, bitch. I've destroyed. Oh my god, you used to be able to swim through this biome, and every little one of these branches you touch would die, and I'd be all scared that I'm destroying the environment. But now it has like some environmental protection. The EPA's on this shit, making sure that I, I, I don't even know. I I'm confused. All right, we're on a whole other side of the biome now. Any different results? You didn't get anything off of you people. I need you to run my base. I, I suppose I probably don't need more than I already have on me anyways. I could probably get out of here, but I'm more offended by the f You used my knife up? Motherfucker! Damn it, dude. I'm <laughs> oh, why? That was an expensive blade. I love how high up you can get these things. If you really floor it, like, you could get unnaturally high out of the water. We're flying. We're just a dolphin. Oh, what is that? How did I not know about that? Look at that perfect little hole right there. I'll bet because there's like that one room in there if you go up the whole side of the mountain that overlooks the entire aurora and everything. But that hole as well looks just perfect. We need, God, we need to expand our base all over this place. We need to go like 100 feet deeper and 200 feet higher. And then we'll just have a masterpiece. We need turrets. I don't even care if there's no enemies to fire at. We need turrets. <laughs> you always gotta have turrets. Oh shit, land! We need to for sure empty out a giant part on this like island just, just so we could drive a uh, glow dick right on into there but not even into the side of it like hollowed out on top as well as into the water so you could hop out and it's just we, we have so many dreams man so many dreams here goes nothing here goes nothing will we be able to power the base now did we just save our people or doom us even more by by wasting time for an entire jesus christ oh my god oh my god oh my god Oh, oh my god, worst entrance I've ever- God, worst entrance I've ever had in my entire life right there. We almost destroyed Ass Reaper. Where is this thing? There we go. There- Ah! Alright. But, Muncher, take my resources. Well, the one compartment that has nothing in it. Way to go, dingus. Now take it. Take one of them. Oh shit, look at that, powering the base up, man, with the power of, of greens. Now this does, um, does it just break, creep one out of a hundred? Does it just charge all the way, processing? How's this, how's this even work, dude? What kind of power difference are we Welcome dealing with now? Captain. 375. 
That's pretty damn splendiferous, dude. And it just charges all the way up to 100? That's, that's pretty cool. I'd like to get a few more of these going, though. Like, the, uh, the world dominator in my brain would definitely like to. I guess, theoretically, it would be better just to keep one going, but then, I don't know, we could have two keeping it charged, though, because we have a lot of stuff. Let's just make another fucking- we have the resources for it, let's do it. One thing, though, for shizzle, let's see if we could power a few more of these just off this one. Or is it one at a time? Damn it, that's lame. Yep, we definitely need more. Definitely need more. We took such an ass beating last time we went through this tunnel, I don't think we could afford another one like that. Like, that'd be the end of us right there. Nope, can't even afford to dock it. Don't have the time. I could just climb it through here. It'd be so useful, but I can't. So I'll just go on through here. I really hope this doesn't backfire in any way. Like, them not being 100% complete, I mean. Because, I mean, the damn thing doesn't have any pigments yet. It doesn't have any colors. So it makes me think that it's not 100% reliable at the moment. That's the only thing. The only thing that worries me. Look at that, dude. We are just powered out the ass right now. We can get anything done. Let's get those hydration stations back up in here. <laughs> no, 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 no. We just got it how we need it. Right, one thing I'm going to change real quick. Someone was saying Elbow Deep should be brown to match the name more. And I got to say, as disgusting, as insanely disgusting as that is, I think it, I got to agree with them there. Ugh. Yeah, looks like that was just about Elbow Deep. That's disgusting. Alright, man, we have power, dude. We have the future in our hands. I would prefer to just have like a thousand solar panels going at any given time, but at least the solar panels will charge us during the day, and these guys will charge us at night, and it's just a perfect system like that. If only there was a way to keep this creep vine from spoiling. Or does, are we allowed to use spoiled creep vine? I don't, I don't know the rules exactly. You know what, just to save us from getting ridiculously crowded right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and... Definitely keep a few of these on me. I'm not playing that dehydration shit anymore, man. We'll just keep, oops, oopsie doodles. We'll just keep a few of these. Yeah, there we go. I'll put some of these back on glow dick and then... Yes. And then, because we can't even power these things for that much. Like, we can only power it so much every... Every little bit anyways, man. Like, I can't I can't power those till it's done running out. But the cool thing is, now our max limit is 475. And in the morning, all those solar panels are going to fill that sucker up anyways. So, we're chilling. Just enjoy the fruits of our splendor. <laughs> this is perfect, man. We don't ever need to leave base. That's like the whole point of having a subnautical base is we have an entire self-sufficient, self-sustaining environment down here. But of course, we do need to adventure so we could always expand it and make it more fancy. All right, just go ahead and make one of you since that's really all I have the resources for me on right now. Oh, elbow deep. Look how fancy you look right now. Sweet, so we can get a few more things a little more organized around here since we're so jumbled. Oh my god, I'm crashing sea moths into sea moths. We could lose everything so fast around here. This is just terrible. Where is your... Come here. Access upgrades. Give me you, give me you, give me you. Take, um, take you. Sweet, now he's got torpedoes on him. And we can finally make Elbow Deep equipped to carry, um, a bunch of stuff. Like the original purpose to Elbow Deep. You can fulfill your destiny now, buddy. Well, for the most part. Slowly but surely, these will all be perfected, because now we have enough energy to do anything. We can get fish back in here. We, once we can make fish tanks, we can finally put our stalkers and everything here, so that doesn't happen. Because <laughs> that's fucked up right there. Maybe this is awesome right here. Unlimited power. Look at that. They're, well, they're almost about halfway, but they've charged just so much, and we have so many of those, those samples or those uh, fungus whatever. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this episode of our Subnautica adventures. It seems we're definitely messing with energy sources that aren't even complete in the game yet, which kind of scares me a little bit, but I think we'll be fine because half the stuff we've done isn't completely in the game yet. Because they just don't have, they don't have color. But either way though, it's fun to mess with them before they're complete. You get to see the whole process that is Subnautica. Like I, when I first started playing, there was only stalkers, so I've seen the entire growth of this beauty. But yeah, if you guys had a good time watching, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!